Hello everyone, I am Deanna Blanchfield. I am the Training and Development Manager here at UW-Tacoma and I want to provide you with a professional development update around our strategic priority. What you may not be aware of is that um, the reason that my position exists and uh, my job function comes directly from the University of Washington Tacoma Strategic Priority of Culture. So I joined Richard Wilkinson in the HR team this past summer um, and what we knew we would be making progress is if we foster fostered an ethic of continuous learning um, and professional growth for both faculty and staff. So when I came on board, um, I, what was an ethic of continuous learning and what would that achieve for UW Tacoma? Well, it definitely would contribute to the success in student retention. We knew it would increase employee engagement, um, certainly help us achieve strategic priorities like culture. Um, it would uh, shape campus culture in a positive way and allow us to be an employer of choice as well. Um, and definitely our leadership continues to support it um, for our success. But what does it mean to be a learning organization? Well, the path to being a learning organization is a marathon, not a sprint. A learning organization is one where all people at all levels, individually and collectively, are doing their best work in doing continuous learning and across um, uh, each other, not just with um, trainers. When I came, we have a great website. We had some online resources. We certainly had seen an uptick in the number of workshops and the attendance, certainly an uptick in orientations for staff and faculty, but we knew just having workshops, whether they were online or in person, was not going to get us to that continuous ethic of learning. So what um, we then um, put together, um, when I came, I did some listening tours. I talked to leadership, the deans and directors, the chancellor and vice chancellor, created an online survey that went out to all past workshop participants and asked them, you know, what do you want to learn? What are your priorities? What problems are you trying to solve that maybe a professional development can help you with. The other question I asked on that survey was, would you like to be a trainer? And we actually got some yeses, because it can't just be a Richards and my voice if we're going to have that continuous learning ethic. And so we're working on some workshops that involve staff with the in fact, and faculty and staff as the trainers, not just me. So um, we took all of this, and uh, today I'm going to give you a, a little highlight of our future. So I've created a two-year plan um, that I'm going to present to you today, and that two-year plan then is collaborating and energizing that learning across campus. There most certainly still is a place for campus-wide workshops, um, but we want to do some special events or have speakers. Um, I have a dotted line to Tehran, who you're going to hear from as well, so keeping faculty development as guided by the Faculty Development Council is also a, a, an objective of mine. I've been doing some customized training. You're going to see some different um, shorter lunchtime courses, blended online. Um, I've gone out to schools and helped them do their strategic planning. Um, I've delivered specific um, workshops, for instance, sexual harassment to the student employees in IT. We have almost 400 student employees, but we don't have any professional development for them, so as well as um, any sort of orientation, so I'm working on that. But we definitely want to promote and advocate. You're going to see us experimenting and trying some different formats, um, and then we'll continually keep evaluating to make sure that we're meeting the needs and maybe go back out to those survey participants as we get halfway through that two-year plan. Um, because the, the framework that I put together for this has uh, four parts to it. And it's supporting strategic initiatives. Uh, some of you may have seen that Courageous Engagement um, is coming out in April, which is a strategic initiative funded um, workshop. It also will have a train the trainer aspect to it. Um, collaborating. Uh, Shaquita and I are working um, and collaborating together uh, equity and inclusion and professional development to bring a speaker at the end of April on equity and community building. So I want to do some more collaboration. Certainly getting communities of practice. And as I said, I'm doing workshops for specific four teams. Um, and we get towards that learning organization when we have that train the trainer and sort of cultivating that culture of continuous learning. Um, when I talked to it before, the chancellor and vice chancellors, the chancellor said I should add leaders. And you're right. And student employees, as I said. So not just staff and faculty, but really enabling that whole campus um, to be uh, working together and doing that continuous learning, um, not just a workshop that HR puts out. Because we know that learning ha doesn't happen somewhere, it happens everywhere. So I'm going to look at apps and podcasts and videos, um, certainly still workshops, as I said, but communities of practice would be a good one um, for us to put together, maybe some experiential learning, um, and really trying to find different ways to deliver that content that works with everyone's schedules. That's always a nightmare to try to put a workshop together, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, so we're going to have a lot of different experiences coming out that you're going to see um, and to get us to um, uh, where we are giving all kinds of content because really what we'd like to do this is a measurement of performance development and its impact right now we're at kind of reaction 
oh, that was a great workshop. What we really want to get to is not only learning, but we're transferring that learning, where you are going out to somebody else and teaching them or training them something that you learned. And it's not just a one and done workshop that's coming out of HR. So I appreciate your time today. If you have any other thoughts about um, professional development, I really would um, encourage you to email me directly. Uh, we are looking for uh, continuous feedback. If you take a workshop or one of those um, new uh, podcasts or a video, something like that, please let me know how it's going. And I'll be around for the Q&A afterwards. Thanks a lot.